If you don't have too much knowledge or you're not an expert in the way NFTs work or how to create them, that's completely okay because in this video, I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know to start making money with your own NFTs today. Now I've seen a ton of videos online that are incredibly misinformed and flat out wrong. I'm going to show you in real time the step-by-step -step blueprint on how you can create an NFT and sell it in 2022. As an artist myself who loves painting abstract art, Creating NFTs is something I've always wanted to do. And I'm sure that a lot of you who are watching this right now know that many people around the world are making millions of dollars literally selling their own NFTs. And maybe even some of you here are artists yourselves. So I really do hope that this video can provide you with lots of value to get started. Before we begin, if you enjoy these how to make money videos, don't forget to smash that like button down below so that YouTube can recommend you with more valuable content just like this. In this channel, we talk everything about cryptocurrency, NFTs, and high performance. So if you wanna be part of my journey, subscribe to the channel. I would love to welcome you to the Sea Rich family. With that said, let's get started. The first step to creating your NFT is selecting a marketplace. Now, there are a lot of different NFT marketplaces out there, but the one I highly recommend is called OpenSea.io. At the time of this recording in 2022, OpenSea is the most popular NFT exchange that the majority of people use in creating and selling NFTs. And in my opinion, it's also one of the easiest marketplaces to configure it. So OpenSea.io should look like this, and I'll leave a link down in the description. And yes, OpenSea is also the place where a lot of people buy all these hype NFTs like Bored Apes and CryptoPunks. Now, step number two, there are a couple of key things that you need to know when getting started. The first thing to be aware of is that a lot of these websites like OpenSea, for example, they endorse that everything is gonna be free and there's nothing to worry about. But in reality, it's not that simple. In the NFT world, you should know that there's something called crypto gas. And yes, you're gonna hear a lot of people talking about crypto gas a lot, especially when you get into the space. So essentially what crypto gas is in simple terms, you can think of it somewhat like a transaction fee. So when you list your NFT on Ethereum, for example, you need to pay gas so that your NFT and crypto wallet can be connected on the blockchain. And this is usually a one-time fee that ranges between $50 to $300 from my experience. But once you pay that one-time fee, you should be able to list as many NFTs as you want. Now, the second thing you need to be aware of is that usually services like OpenSea will charge you 2.5% every time you sell your NFT to someone else. But something you need to know as well is that you can set royalties up to 10%, which means that if you wanna make money when other people sell your NFT, you can get that 10%. So therefore the artist keeps getting paid in passive income, which in my opinion is a great thing. But with that in mind, let me show you the step-by-step -step on how you can start listing your NFT and in reality, it's really not that hard. So step three is that you need to create a crypto wallet and a crypto wallet is essentially where you can hold your crypto assets like Ethereum, for example. And this is where your profits are gonna be stored when you sell your NFT. So there are actually a couple of crypto wallets that you can use. Some options being the Coinbase wallet, Trust Wallet, Portis, and Fortmatic. But the one I recommend is called Metamask, which is the most popular crypto wallet in OpenSea that I personally use, and it's one of the oldest players in the crypto industry as well. So how you can create your wallet is simply going to your iPhone or your phone and downloading the Metamask app in the App Store. Or you could also just install the extension in your browser. So all you need to do is simply create an account there. And something you need to know that's important is that when you sign up for your crypto wallet in Metamask, there's going to be 12 random words, which are gonna be your private keys or secret recovery phrase. This is something you'll wanna write down in case you forget your password. You can write it on a paper or store it in a note, but you'll wanna keep it somewhere safe where you can access it. Because in reality, if you forget your password and if you don't have your secret recovery phrase, those 12 words, nobody can help you, not even MetaMask. So make sure you keep this stuff in a safe place. So just to show you, if we go to metamask.io, as you can see here, you can install MetaMask in Chrome, iOS, or Android. It should be fairly simple. And if you wanna put some money in MetaMask, there are also a lot of options to do so within the app. I myself have already installed MetaMask, and as always, I'll leave the links down below in the description. So once that's set up, you can move on to step number four, which is connecting your wallet to OpenSea. So how you can do this is you need to first create an account on OpenSea in Chrome or Firefox or pretty much any browser, and it's really straightforward and then all you need to do is go to the website and press on profile. There you can press on MetaMask. As you can see here, there's also other options like Coinbase, for example, but it says that MetaMask is the most popular one and it'll actually redirect you to the MetaMask page where you need to log in and you need to open your crypto wallet essentially. Now, another way you could connect your wallet is by going to the MetaMask app on your iPhone and pressing on the browsers tab. There, all you need to do is search on OpenSea.io 
and then you can connect your wallet there. Both ways work and you should be set to go. So step number five then is designing your NFT. This is personally my favorite step out of all the steps where you can think about what designs or what sort of message you want to send through your NFTs. If you already have some artwork that you created in the past, be it physical or digital art, then you can consider using those pictures. But if you want to go on like Photoshop and start designing NFTs, you can also do that. Some people that I know have also tried going on Fiverr or some like freelance website to hire somebody else to create these pictures of your NFT. So this step should be where your creativity is used. And I highly recommend thinking about the vision of your NFT and what sort of audience you're trying to market to. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a painting of mine that I personally created, which is going to be a Bitcoin acrylic abstract painting that's currently sitting at my house. But remember, guys, that NFTs are not just limited to pictures, right? You could also upload a video. You could even upload your own music into NFTs. But generally speaking, most people are going to use pictures. So regardless of what file you use, step number six then is actually uploading that file to OpenSea. So how you can do this is quite simple actually. All you need to do is go to your account page, then press My Collections. When you press My Collections, there's going to be an option that redirects you to the button that says Create a Collection. And when you press that, you're going to be asked to upload a logo image, your featured image, a banner image, the name of your NFT, your website if you have one, a description, and a category to which you're going to put your NFT. It can be either art, collectibles, music, photography, sports, trading cards, and utility. So this uploading process should be quite straightforward. And once you do that, what you want to do now is put a creator earnings, which are basically royalties that we talked about earlier, that you can get every time someone else resells your NFT. And make sure to paste your wallet address here, which you can find on MetaMask. Then you can simply press on Ethereum as a blockchain you're going to use and press create. So now that you have your NFT listed on the blockchain, the final step is to sell your NFT. As you can see here, you can simply press sell on your NFT and you can put either a fixed price or a timed auction. So let's say we want to list this NFT for 0.1 Ethereum, which is about $300. And you can actually set the duration to which your NFT is going to be sold for that price. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it. All you have to do now is press list. And there you have it. Your NFT is now in the OpenSea marketplace. Now, obviously, something that you need to know is that in the NFT space, Marketing is something hugely critical for you to become successful. That's why a lot of people go to influencers to market their NFTs or they try to curate their NFTs to be as unique as possible in chances that it could go viral. And that is why when you're trying to design your NFT, you really need to have a clear plan on how you want this project to unfold. But now that you have the skills to create an NFT, you can use your imagination to flourish. I hope this video was helpful. If you got any value from it, don't forget to like this video and smash that subscribe button for more content just like this. As always, Bless the hustle, it's C Rich, and I'm out. You think it's funny to take screenshots of people's NFTs, huh? Property theft is a joke to you. I'll have you know that the blockchain doesn't lie. I own it. Even if you save it, it's my property. You are mad that you don't own the art that I own. Delete that screenshot.